Uh, so from there, that's where we developed the idea to do a leadership book to introduce medical students and medical trainees to leadership and personal development skills that they can learn and internalize to get them through training. Do, do they in, in medical school, do, do you, uh, do they touch on any of that? Like even at orientation, they're going to say, all right, you're, well, you know, you're going into the foxhole, you're going to be, you know, kind of, you're going to be beaten down and stressed out and be prepared. Um, here's some things that, I mean, just even if it's just low level stuff, like, you know, eat right and exercise. Don't forget to get some sleep the best you can. <laughs> Take amphetamines or, you know, or whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> do, do they give you even any guidance or is it just like, let's see who survives? Most schools, no, no guidance whatsoever. The guidance that we get, and this is from research that I've done with a lot of different medical schools and a lot of different medical students from around the country. There are maybe one or two schools around the country that have formal leadership programs. Uh, I know there's one in Washington State, there's one at FIU, but most schools, they actually teach you how to master the patient relationship 